Alrighty boys, welcome back to the channel. So I just wanted to show you guys how you can fix your keyboard if it starts being unresponsive. This seems to happen like once every two months where Windows 10 will install some sort of an update that bugs out your computer. Now there's a couple of things that you can go ahead and try doing. What this video is basically about is like say for example you go to hit the D button sometimes it doesn't like work when you're like typing something out on the notepad or if you're playing some sort of a video game that or it'll start like double or triple or even putting like four d's when you only click it one time so i'm going to go ahead and show you guys how you can go ahead and fix this there are if this doesn't help you're gonna have to take your keyboard about your keyboard apart and inside there'll be two little plastic things and you can cut them out or not cut them open but you can peel them apart and sometimes there's like dust in the middle and that's causing when you push down on your keyboard it stops responding so this right here sometimes this gets turned on with windows updates the filter keys where it says ignore or slow down brief or repeated keystrokes and adjust keyboard repeat rates so that's what happens with that sometimes that will get turned on so now i'm going to go ahead and show you guys something else that you can go ahead and uh do but you're gonna have to go to your control panel i'm still used to windows 8 here all right i'm gonna go ahead and show you all right hardware and sound devices and then you can go ahead and click on your keyboard and what you do here is you just go to your keyboard settings and this right here the repeat rate that sometimes this will get turned up like all the way and it'll make it so that when you click the button it'll start like putting like three or four of them at a time now if you have a mechanical keyboard you can also go ahead and take your keys off and if you have like a dust blower just blow in your mechanical keyboard you won't even have to take the key off but sometimes you'll have to like adjust your key and that sort of stuff so i just wanted to make this short little video for you because this happens to me quite a bit and i know there's probably a few people out there that are just like yo my 150 dollars keyboard ain't working and that's what ends up happening like i said if these two things don't work then you're probably gonna have to take your keyboard apart and you know clean out the little plastic area just make sure that everything is dry if you end up like using a moist cloth or something and also make sure that you line everything back up or else it just it won't work at all so be careful when you're doing that make sure that you know you're fragile <laughs> so i hope you guys enjoyed the video remember to support with a like if you did subscribe if you haven't already i'll catch you guys in the next one Peace.